There are so many new Corex Y3 printers on the market, how do you know which one to buy? Well, in today's video, we are going to face off three of the most popular Corex Y3 printers on the market. The Bamboo Lab P1S, the Creality K1, and the Chidi Tech X Plus 3. Every time I do one of these comparisons, I have to think of something to print. And I didn't want to print a trinket, I didn't want to print a toy. And I figured if I have to do three things, should be three things that I need or I want. So probably a practical print. Well, today I needed a funnel. Yes, a funnel. We use funnels all the time up here on the ranch. In fact, we have buckets of funnels. We lose funnels. We break funnels. Funnels get dirty. You're using them for engine oil, hydraulic oil, water, diesel, transmission fluid, fertilizer, everything. We wash them. We organize them. But sometimes you can't find the right funnel when you need the right funnel. In other words, it doesn't have the right size neck. Uh, it's the wrong size. It's dirty. There's just a million reasons why you need a funnel up here on the ranch. In fact, if I weren't printing these funnels for today's comparison, I would have jumped in the truck, driven the hour and a half round trip down to the valley, hit up a couple of stores, spent $20 in diesel driving around, and ended up buying a 5 or $10 funnel. Oh, and because we're at the farm and ranch store, you get to see some baby ducks. And besides being perfectly practical around the ranch, around farms and shops, I think it makes a really great comparison for these three machines. I chose this fluted funnel on printables.com from Peter H. I scaled it up to 250%, which makes it about seven inches in diameter. The model was sliced up in each printer's preferred slicer. The only thing I modified was the perimeters. I set those to three. I'm not really comparing slicer settings, infill defaults, anything like that. I really am only concerned with the final print result using a standard profile because I think 99% of the people that buy these new Core XY machines are going to be using those default profiles. Before we jump into this comparison, Bamboo Lab, Creality, and Chidi Tech sent me these machines, no strings attached. I really don't have an interest in doing reviews. I'm really more interested in sharing my experiences, my thoughts, and my opinions with you. We're starting with the Chidi Tech X Plus 3. It has a build volume of 280 by 280 by 270 millimeters and is pretty quick at 600 millimeters per second. This was the fastest of the prints coming in at about four and a half hours. You can see a slight surface pattern and you can see that there might be what appear to be a little bit of cooling issues, but nothing I would consider abnormal for something that's printing at that speed. Other than that, I think the print turned out fantastic. This was the default profile and I have to say I'm pretty darn impressed. That's a... It's a really fast machine. Here's the inside. Take a look at that. Overall, very impressed. Next, we have the Creality K1, which has a 220 by 220 by 250 millimeter build volume, and it does boast speeds up to 600 millimeters per second as well. It had surface artifacts just like the Chidi Tech. And you can kind of see a little bit of a pattern there. But overall, again, I don't think that that's anything that's outside of normal for a machine that's printing at that speed. Here's the inside. Beautiful print, beautiful print, good looking. And last, we have the Bamboo Lab P1S, which has a build volume of 256 millimeters cubed, and it runs at speeds up to 500 millimeters per second. And I have to say, I think the Bamboo P1S killed it here. Absolutely perfect. I cannot find a single flaw on this print. Here's the inside. Now that, that, that light there with the camera is making it look a little bit yellow, but in fact, this is orange PLA, but it is absolute perfection. I cannot find a flaw in this print at all. When it comes to these three machines printing this particular funnel for this face off, this comparison, the Bamboo Lab P1S, I think wins. The speed is there. The quality is there. The print came out perfect. I would dare to say that this is as close to perfection as you're going to get. And I would even compare this against my Ray 3D machines, which are more prosumer industrial printers. And this printed in less than a fifth of the time of one of those Ray 3D machines. Which of these three printers are you interested in the most? Comment below. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and ring that bell. No, seriously, ring the bell. It helps us out a lot. All right, so let's talk about cost. The Creality K1 comes in at $599, $519 with a coupon code. I'll have that coupon code in my affiliate link on the screen. The P1S 
and the Chidi Tech X Plus 3 both come in at $699. Let's not forget that the biggest difference between these three machines is that the Bamboo Lab P1S is compatible with Bamboo Lab's AMS, their multi-material system. After filming, taking a look at each one of these prints in, in detail, I have to say that I think that the Bamboo Lab P1S wins this face off, this comparison with this particular model. I am looking at this print under all sorts of lights and I cannot find a single flaw. Now, the Creality K1 is a tank. It's built extremely strong. The frame is incredible. The machine is fast. So far, it's been very reliable, but I think the machine that kind of has my attention right now is that Chidi Tech X Plus 3. That thing is a monster of a machine. It's heavy, it's solid. The aesthetics just look cool, but it is fast, really fast. Although that's the one that's kind of got my attention right now and I want to learn more about it, the Bamboo Lab right now, if you had to compare each of these machines and you had $699 and you thought that maybe in the future you would want a multicolor system, that would probably be the machine to go with. Regardless, we plan on doing a deep dive into each one of these machines, so make sure you're subscribed. If you enjoyed this content and you'd like your name in every single video that we produce, consider becoming a YouTube channel member. There's a little button right down below. It says join. Thank you, Captain Jerbear, Sir Will 3D, Joel Finn, Brandon0109, Waste in Time, Cam Nicholas, Luppy Leptonium, The Cinzia, Patrick W3D, Rip Artist, Vredog Knight, Central, Your Buddy Denek, Buddha 3D, and Jedi Spidey. Thank you so much for your support. Thanks for watching. We'll see you again soon.